Good day everyone, your sock monkey here, and uh, no, this is not a replacement for the DeVille. Uh, what happened was, I was about to uh, take the, uh, I was about to take the Subaru Outback back to the, uh, to get around because I thought my car was going to be done today, and my mechanic messaged me just as I was uh, going through the car wash, which by the way, uh, the car wash had a, uh, mark seven in it uh, mark seven system for the car wash fans out there but anyway um so um was kind of uh so unfortunately what wound up happening is oh, oh forget i don't know what that's about um what ended up happening was the uh my car is now delayed because uh my mechanic supplier gave him the wrong uh compressor and my muffler's on back order, but the muffler I can deal with out until um, it comes in. But, you know, AC is kind of important. So, um, I dropped off the um, Outback, and then I decided to get another get-around car. Um, decided to find something that was close by and didn't have an insane deposit. So, here it is. This is a 2019 Honda Civic LX. So unfortunately, it's a bit banged up, but you know, tell me you're tell me you're a car that gets driven a lot in a big city without telling me that you're a car that gets driven a lot in a big city. Um, so yeah, it's, and I did document this to get around. Um, I didn't cause this damage; it was there. This you know, but you know, anyway. Uh, so I'm very surprised at how nice this car is for being a base model. Um, do, do, doesn't have a. Uh, like the main watch camera that you would normally see, but uh, it does have a lot of stuff like the um, forward collision alert, the intelligent cruise control, all that stuff. So starting off these headlamps, these do look to be, at least they look like they're projector beam headlamps. No fogs, of course. Uh, blacked out grill on the front. I believe this color is the modern steel metallic. So very nice hubcaps. These are like 16 inch. Um, so here's the key. Um, it's unlimited, it's integrated just like that, uh, Subaru. Uh, you have lock, unlock, and panic. And then you have, uh, these, I think on the other trim levels you could get, um, and I don't know why it's flopping around like this. Kind of annoying when you're driving, but whatever. Um, fuel door right here. Oh, maybe I have to lock. Aha. Lockable with the key, but it's capless, so that's cool. Trunk. I mean, there's nothing in it, but... Anyway, here's the trunk. Civic. And it comes with a backup camera, which is a pretty decent backup camera. Um, come in the back. Don't worry, I've just got a bag full of... I just got... I got to get a new cable. New cable, but... uh has your uh, lights up here and I actually have pretty decent room and I'm sitting behind myself. I'm sitting behind my driving position and I'm five foot eight inches tall. You don't get an armrest back here, but uh, you do get a center console. And it's pretty decent. You have some coat hooks back here. Um, I um, test drove an EXT, I think it was, but this is actually pretty nice. Um, I know Bobby, 2JZ Bobby, had a uh, EX, no, an Accord that had that same color, and I quite like it. Have your uh, windows, um, your uh, your power mirror controls, your power window controls. Just want to do this video uh, real quick because I have to. T I'm taking the car back in the morning, and right, my Deville will be done. You have this uh, faux chrome trim right here. Uh, the door panel is nice and soft. Your hood release. And then um, you have your uh, forward collision alert turn off, um, lane departure warning, um, traction control on and off, and then uh, trunk release right here. Um, so we'll go ahead and start up the Civic. So 
Gage is doing a nice little sweep thing. And uh, I'll turn off the parking brake because um don't really need it. Um, but yeah, I have the lane departure warning on. Um, you have your temperature control. Um, it's telling me that the maintenance pissed you, but it's not my car. I've driven 53.6 miles, 20.5 mpg, but this was a lot of city driving. This was a lot of driving in, in highway traffic. Um, so it's got the ACC, which is the cruise control lane keep assist system. Um, I've got the eco mode, uh, 252 miles. I put it in reverse and we'll see the backup camera. It's got guidance lines. Drive, sport mode, low. Brake hold, which is a nice feature. So it just holds the brake. Um, it's good like until you actually press on the gas. Uh, electronic parking brake, it's got this nice full other thing right here. Uh, economy mode, which is on. Um, has the owner's manual. Um, not an auto dimming mirror, but that's okay. Um, and then you have your reading lamps up here. Um, and then I don't know what I can go through here. Um, but um, let's see here, uh, fuel, and then you have uh, oil life, uh, vehicle settings, TPMS calibration, driver assist system setup, meter setup, lighting setup, door setup, maintenance info, uh, B1, and then uh, go back. Uh, switches between miles an hour and kilometers an hour and then uh it's gonna say maintenance due again um so i'll just put it back on fuel um and then it has uh, bluetooth which i didn't bother to set up and then voice command which i'm not sure how to get that to work um and then uh main which turns on the uh, cruise control uh, relay and then this is for turning on the uh, this is for the uh, I believe the uh, um, the intelligent cruise control um, and then like I guess this is very well put together for this is very uh, so you have menu here for adjusting clock play mode and settings and then um, USB, no device connected, because it's radio, media. Um, it's down, the USB and stuff is down here. It's a little hard to get to, but it's not too bad once you do it. Um, has uh, automatic climate control, which I was very surprised that this is for an LX for a base model, but it's got recirculation, front defrost, rear defrost, your modes to so where you can send it your feet your face defrost feet and face again ac which is on airbag off switch um so that's pretty much it um so the wheel it's kind of rubberized but it's got a nice texture to it um turn signals lighting controls Um, the only thing that I would get if I were to get one of these I would make sure to have the lane watch camera but other than that this is a pretty nice car I I would buy one I legitimately would, con would really consider one I mean and dare I say it over a Subaru so here's the engine I believe it's a 2 liter uh, it's the Earth Dreams IV Tech. This is going to be a prop ride up here somewhere. This is the 2 liter engine. And I know these came with a, like a 1.5 liter turbo as well. Um, so, though, 
so overall i'm very happy with it um it's, uh, like i said i'm gonna have a very short time with it because i'm taking it back in the morning but so i'm hopefully getting my development back tomorrow but overall this is a very nice car honda really um makes these very well so i thank you guys for watching and take care